Hello, guys. Guess what? We made it to episode five. Well, you know who I am. I am Queenie, and this is Take Your Time Podcast. And typically, on our first episode, we just go ahead and start off our episode of prayer. prayer. So that's what we're about to do. Bye, yes. Thank you, God, for today. Thank you for bringing us all together, God. Thank you for the people who are watching this. Thank you for the people who are in the room, God, in this space. We pray that you just continue to bless over all of us, God. We pray that you guide us in every way, shape, and form. We love you so much, and we are so thankful for this divine opportunity. We pray that you continue to lead our steps, God, and allow us to just start in this space. Um, And we just love you so much, God. We know that you will do whatever it is that you need to do in this space, God. And we are so thankful for using us as your vessels in every day. We love you so much, Ashley. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's Georgia or what, but the Nets. And I got mine. Yes. They are uh, it's respectful. It's- yeah, I'm not really in that girl. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's in that girl, but maybe I'll be wanting to kill them any way I can. Okay. Anywho, so as usual, we start with our week. And y'all got P mic'd up again. And she is looking at me like, why? you? I'm doing it again. I'm here again. And I said, P, you want to talk. And she, <laughs> she said, girl, you're going to talk to me. And she's right. <laughs> Hey, girl. What's up, Queenie? (laughs) (laughs) Typically, when we start our episodes, we start off with how my day is going. And so, or how my week has been going, actually. And so, this week has been busy. It just seems like there's always something to do, right? But it just seems like there was literally always something to do. It's been a really good week, but like trying to figure out how to get everything done, still have fun, still relax, still hang out with family. It was like, I'm tired, one. Two, I think I just really wanted to make sure that everything is done. And I didn't get everything done. Today is Sunday. Well, today is Monday. And I still don't have everything done. I'm thinking about all the things that I have to do. And so just sitting here, being on Take Your Time podcast, as I'm thinking of the things that I'm going to talk about today, that's something that I thought about. Everything that has happened this week has taught me that there is a divine order. So, but before I jump into that, I just wanted to say yesterday, I went to a barber's barbecue. It was hosted by Marcus Harvey. It was really, really dope. Shout out to Marcus. Yeah, he did He did his thing. But it was nice just to be around everybody. Well, you know, people in our industry and people do hair and like me, families and friends of everybody. And it was cool to be in that space and not feel like we had to bring our wallet, you know what I mean? Because we was buying something or investing in something. Not that that's a problem because it's great, but it's just great to be able to be in a space where people are just connecting just because. A lot of people were coming from different states just to come hang out. People had just moved here recently and wanted, you know, that was a great opportunity just for them to connect and meet people without feeling like, oh, I got to go into your shop, you know, and apply without really knowing who you are and how you handle business. So that was really cool. Like, everything has just been like, I don't know if it's because it's the spring, but that's kind of how I feel. Like, I feel like it's kind of because it's springtime, the sun is out. Like, everything's opened up for us to kind of, it's just kind of make a move. It's moving and shaking time. That's what it feel like. And I'm coming into it slow, okay? Because I'm still in winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in hibernation, and I'm doing my best to get out of that because what I'm realizing is things are opening up right now. I want to do it. I said I was, I am preparing myself just to kind of get out. Now that it's here, it's like, no, guys, I didn't really mean it. I really, (laughs) I really wanted to stay in the house. I was kidding. But no, I really didn't mean it. So just trying to find that balance. Do you want to talk about your week? How was your week, Brian? My week was good, but it was challenging. Of course, you know. This is the first time without being a car, in a uh, having my car. Yeah. So this was a challenge, but I try to make the best of it. I realized that some matter situation is worse than mine, mm-hmm. and I thank God that I'm able to still 
continue on with life and that and let that be the main Amen. distraction and the main stress of my week. Yeah. You know, so the good health still. I just thank God for, for everything that's allowed that you know, that he's allowing me to continue to still go to work and just not let me stress over that. Yeah, for sure. But other than that, my wife I don't I said my wife. My life has been good. Uh -huh. I week, know that's the right. week has been good. Too. So yep. That's really good. Cause can you remember a time where like like something happened and it was the focus of your day? Yes. Yeah. One thing can mess up your whole day. Because mm -hmm. you're just so focused on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So mm -hmm. now to be in that space, you know, and and of course there's ups and downs and ups and flows to everything. But like just to be able to be aware of you know, typically, not even mm -hmm. typically, but this is not messing up my day. This isn't messing up my journeys mm -hmm. it happened and it's something that we still we still have to keep through on. yeah it's a flow life yeah. is a flow so yeah. you just gotta go through it yeah oh my gosh it's so much that happened in, in my week for real <laughs> and now now stuff is like popping up my life coach and i don't really know like it's crazy because when we got introduced we both were hairstylists and she came and worked in the same shop as me and I remember, like, I remember I was looking at McDonald's Sharky, which is so random. And I had felt like she should, like, she needs to be my mentor. Like, something said, she needs to be your mentor. And I had called her, and I said, can you be my mentor? And she was like, yeah, she was really psyched about it, you know. And she was already doing her life coaching thing. So it kind of just worked out very well. So we did the life coach, and then somewhere along the process, we became really good friends. And so now, like, when she comes over and we hang out, it's like we're friends before she's my life coach or my mentor. Just divinely, like, our conversations just end up kind of being that way. And I didn't really know, like, in the midst of me asking her, or in the midst of me even getting the idea for her to be my mentor and me asking her, I didn't know that the process would end up being where it is now, or we would go through the journey as we have. And just her coming and us being able to connect in the way that we did, like the conversations that we were having, it was like, oh, this is what you meant. Like, you you don't, that was probably three years ago when I asked her. And for, you know, we've had like amazing times, amazing conversations, but something about this most recent visit had it click for me on that moment where I got the idea or the concept to be like, I want this to be my mentor. Like, didn't really have any answers, you know? And, Everything's clicking. So we had a really great conversation. We got some great concepts and things that we want to work on together. But just even the way that I'm sitting right now, the way that she breaks down the blueprint of a woman, like through scripture, is amazing. It's amazing. And so like just being able to go through this process of, process of understanding how valuable we are and not even... Not time that's monetarily or material things, but just being able to understand how valuable you are through God's word and through just your being. Because we are different. And, I mean, you know, for me, I like to embrace that. I think with everything, like, we don't necessarily have to always know the order of things. And we don't always have to know why we should move when we get the urge to move or when we get that that instinct or that's oh my bad I do tap the mic my bad y'all <laughs> or when you get that um gut instinct to move you don't we don't always have to have the answers to that you know like we can just hear it and we can move we could just take the first step and in us taking the first step the second step will follow but also understanding that this is just a part of our divine order and everything doesn't we don't have to try to control the order. The order is divine in itself. Divine order is just, it's just what my concept is, what I was thinking about as my week has progressed, is that it's just about taking a step, you know, and one foot in front of the other. The whole concept of let go and let God is for you to remove yourself from feeling like you have to have all the answers you can literally let go of feeling like you need to be the full operator in your journey and you can really give it to god and god will consistently constantly lead you 
into your divineness and you will you will just remain in that so even if you make a mistake even if you say something that you didn't want to say even if you treat somebody like shit today you know what i mean like you can just find some awareness in that and then you can move forward and even if in that moment you don't find awareness at the moment that you understand that everything is working for you then you can remove the judgment that you're putting on yourself in the first place you know because we all are doing this thing called life and we none of us have the perfect solution or the perfect answer even my story and my experiences and the way that I relay them may not relate to everybody and that's okay but as long as you're walking not even I want to say that for myself as long as I'm walking in my divineness and as long as I'm stepping and taking step by step um usually there's plenty of fruit on the other side there's plenty of joy and peace and just relaxation I think we're good y'all I think the message was delivered um and like I said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, then you know where to put them. And if you have anything specific that you want me to talk about, drop it in the comments. I'm so glad for you. I'm so thankful for you guys just continuing to support me, just being able to see how the page is growing. I think that's so dope. And this is one of those things, y'all, like we're taking our time here. So as far as just starting, like, you could see the progression from episode one to episode, what is this, five? And you just got to know everything doesn't have to be perfect for you to start. And you can see my intro, like even my intro. Every episode up until I think episode three or four, the intro has changed, you know? And it took me just creating and finding different things that I liked about the intro and I didn't like, and just being able to see it publicly and um, figure it out that way has been helpful for me. Who knows? Maybe that's not your journey. Maybe it is. But as long as, you know, I can show that me just starting is also a way to grow and a way to be successful and get whatever it is that you desire, I'm going to show you because it's going to happen. And it is happening. So, I love you guys. I'm so thankful for you. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>